The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. A man named John was sent from God. He came to testify, to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And to this is the, and this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you so that we can give an answer to those who sent us? What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize you with water, but there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, yeah, forgot. Thank you. Oh, don't, don't bow yet. Now, now we'll do it together. <laughs> no, I'm not drunk. I'm just happy. <laughs> I don't get to come over here very often because they don't want to turn me loose on you people. St. James is used to me, and y'all just kind of look and go, oh my, what's this? He needs to go back to the east side where he belongs. And that's okay too. But today we rejoice. We, we are happy. Um, I'd like you pause for a moment and think how many hours you put in shopping for Christmas. Online, offline, or in line. For Christmas. And the second question I'd ask you is how long you've been in line to thank Jesus for his birthday? That ought to put some stuff into perspective, I'd imagine. And therefore, the church gave us Gaudete Sunday today because today's the beginning of the week that we're supposed to celebrate Jesus, that he's coming. He can be born like us, flesh, sense of humor, joy, happiness, peace, forgiveness, embracing, challenging, all those things. And that precious little baby Oh, there's two here. I'll try not to pick one of them up. I love babies. The uh, Gaudete means in Latin, you rejoice. You, 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 like popcorn. Oh, y'all, pop, 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 rejoice. You rejoice because of the great gift that's coming. And the first two weeks of Advent been spent on shopping. Shop, shop, shop. You ever notice that when we shop and there's long lines, we get so impatient. 
We wish the lady's wheel would fall off and she'd dump all her basket and we could slip around and go out faster. And traffic becomes just hectic. Everyone in town's everyone in town is is spreading the flu out at Walmart. Oh my god, people sneeze. And you can grab those handles and you forget to wash your hands and you go home and you make your grandma sick with flu because you've been out shopping. And I forget how many billions are going to be spent because of shopping for Christmas. And poor old baby Jesus, he just lays there. I'm not trying to send anyone on a guilt trip. I'm just speaking the truth. Just speaking the truth. Where's Renee? She's on the east side. Is she at my mass? No, you're at this mass. She's at the other mass. Well, if I'd known that, I'd been at that mass. <laughs> She's a lot prettier than you are. <laughs> I got him, Mike. <laughs> so I think we've got to put it in perspective. What are we going to do this last week? Because, you know, next Sunday, right into Christmas. So what are we going to do this week to prepare in joy for the Lord? And I just go off. Someone turned me off. Oh, my God. That's never happened before. Maybe God turned me off. He said, no, Dave, go on. That's God saying, go on, Dave, we'll do more. So, it's not a downer to think, I sure spend a lot of money and I spend a lot of time sending my wife to go shopping. And I stayed home and drank beer and watched a football game. <laughs> Sent my wife to go shopping and I went hunting. Oh, and I'm in the wrong pew. <laughs> Where'd he go? There he is back there. <laughs> insurance man sent his wife to go go all shopping and he go hunting so maybe as a couple we can y'all can do something celebrate Jesus coming I think it's probably a good idea why do you think the priest wears pink if that's rose Try to find a rose this color. There ain't no roses this color. It's pink. It's pink Sunday. And that's like y'all giggle. <laughs> Say, look at that crazy priest wearing pink. What's that all about? It's pink Sunday. It's a time to rejoice. So, I'm going to make sure that that the uh, men's choir practice is all rejoicing next Friday about Jesus. It's a good idea. I ain't going to attack anyone. <laughs> I'm going back to my pew. Receive Jesus tonight in Eucharist. Say, come, Lord Jesus, help me be thankful for you. And not all those lines at Walmart, not all those lines in Tulsa, not all those lines at, at, at anywhere else where we go. Help me just be thankful for you. Keep Christ in Christmas.